Hi, everybody. I'm really nervous, so I'm going to think of all of you naked, thinking about me naked. But this is going to feed into the talk. Uh, my name's Chris. Uh, I prefer to go by fool, and I'm going to talk about some really impolite things today. Politics and public lewdness. But then I'm going to talk about some awesome things. Fun and cooperation. Uh, politics is uh, what we're going to talk about first, and Portland is awesome for politics, for the purpose of this talk, and for the purpose of a lot of other talks, bronyism, roller derby, etc. Because uh, the Portland scene is that uh, the government and the citizens embrace and encourage bizarreness, but they don't lose sight of making the city work for the citizens. This is a picture from the 2000... Whoop, that's, that's a picture from the World Naked Bike Ride, um, which we're going to talk about today, uh, which is enabled by our mayor, Sam Adams, and our government. Uh, and the legacy of active transportation-focused leadership that's come before. They've really opened the streets to human-powered uh, transportation, and they've enabled the thing that I'm really excited about, the World Naked Bike Ride. The cops also like the World Naked Bike Ride because they get paid to stand around and look at naked people for 45 minutes once a year. Uh, the cops are, are overseen by the Portland City Council, and they're really friendly to cyclists, and especially to uh, bike fun, including the Naked Bike Ride. This slide is what you're not going to see. Uh, this talk is rated PG. Uh, if you were naked, standing in, a, in front of this theater, it would be X-rated if you're me, or maybe R-rated if you're a girl. But uh, what is illegal in town is public nudity, not public lewdness. I'm going to take a quick detour to talk about the fact that it does not hurt to ride a bike naked. Uh, it might hurt to sit on that shoe, but the saddle is actually quite comfortable. I've done 20 miles on it, not a problem. I know that was a burning question, so I just had to get out of the way. Uh, so, I'm one of the organizers of the ride, and we give advice to our participants, the first of which is not about how to dress. It's about how to be safe. Helmet, shoes, great. You're going to be riding amongst a bunch of really distracted people, possibly intoxicated. And if you fall down, you can't grow your brain back very easily, but skin comes back all right. The second thing we tell people is about how to dress. Our slogan is, be as bare as you dare. You don't have to be naked, especially if you're shy, or maybe you have some students out that might be watching the, uh, the ride. Wear a costume, distract people from your nudity. The second thing we tell people is about how to, oops, I already did that one, huh? Ah, vulnerability uh, is part of the message of the World Naked Bike Ride. The reason that the cops allow us to parade around nude is because in Oregon, nudity is constitutionally protected free speech. And we have a message. <laughs> we and Dutch, pictured here, have a message that uh, cyclists are vulnerable and our dependence on foreign oil is kind of crappy. But you don't need a message on your back to have a message. You can just be out there having fun. And we hope that... <laughs> this guy is another example of a demonstration. He wasn't being lewd. He was being publicly naked uh, to protest TSA policies. And a judge cited the World Naked Bike Ride as legal precedent for declaring that he was not violating the law. There's a lot of naked bike rides in the world. Portland has seven. It also has the largest one outside of Burning Man. This is not that one. But uh, it did happen, uh, I think, last year. Uh, so let's talk about size. We get a lot of people out there. We do this once a year. We uh, kind of peaked there in 2010, and we we're not sure about these numbers. It's kind of hard to count naked people. If you've ever tried, you go nipple blind after maybe the first thousand or so. So <laughs> we're pretty sure about the last number. This is a picture of the start of last year's ride. And I just wanted to say that <laughs> yeah, I'm in there somewhere, and I see two other people that are in the audience today. Um, <laughs> I had some words to go with that. Anyway, this, uh, this is a demonstration of what the organizers of the ride actually do. We're liaisons with the cops, but we really try to make a safe space for people to gather in before the ride. Safe means you're not going to cut your feet on a nail, you're not going to get sexually harassed, and you have an appropriate place to urinate. We put a lot of effort into that. Uh, back to politics, though. This is, uh, this is a picture of a coexistence of our two modes of transport in this town. I mean, in addition to walking and skating. And uh, we've never had a serious injury on the ride that wasn't caused by somebody riding out of control. Hey, thanks cops and thanks Portland drivers. Uh, bikes, on the other hand, have had serious injuries. Jason here had his bike run over while attempting to prevent a car from plowing through a bunch of naked cyclists. We didn't react very well, we slashed the truck's tires, so we're kind of working on our public relations here. <laughs> uh, another issue we have to deal with is spectators. This year's ride, 4,200 people, probably 10,000 spectators. We had a lot more people watching than participating. And that's great. We're partying in the streets, public property. Hey, check out our message. We're happy. Join us. Um, but also, uh, <laughs> there's some issues with that many spectators. If you crowd up on somebody and grab their ass, that's illegal. Uh, they're not doing anything illegal by being in the street, but you are by harassing them. So 
as a community, we need to address respect for personal space and uh, other things that cyclists do, like public urination. The ride's still working on some of the uh, logistics. That's all I have to say, but if you want to play along next year, we have a website. Uh, we'll certainly be doing a big ride in June. Look out for us. Join us. Have fun on your bike.